oceans. Okay. That is nice, right? Since it is literature, you can, uh, if it is uh, language, you cannot do it, right? Okay. So, I'll, for today's kindness, for kindness day, you have given a very good idea of Tresha. Uh, so, apart from that, okay, uh, maybe based on her life, I should prepare a quiz. I can post it. I should try. Oh. Today here itself, I can immediately I have learned everything is here. I'll try, okay, because uh, all the classes maximum it gets over before uh, lunch. So after lunch, I'm free. So I shall try to do it. After when today when you're free, also you can uh, come and give a look. Right? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Keep talking. <laughs> Uh, hello, good morning. Good morning, Olu. Uh, actually, I was discussing with your uh, senior regarding. Uh, actually, I was discussing with your senior uh, regarding the um, uh, the competitions, English Literary Association competitions. Okay. Do you know what day that we are uh, uh, celebrating? Monday. Yes. So, uh, yes, yes. Who Today is, is uh, Karunai Dinam. Karunai Dinam. Okay. What is in Tamil? Uh, Tamil is Karunai Dinam. English? Mm. World Kindness Day. Grace. Right? Grace. Oh, you say Grace. Huh? Okay, so let me see World World Kindness Day 2021 theme. I shall try to show that. Maybe some videos. I shall try to share this theme. Are you all kind? Are you all kind? Mm? Yes or no? Do you yes, ma'am? Yes, of course, we should be kind. Let's see. Chrome tab, World Kindness Day. Okay. I hope you could see the screen now. Do you see, see the screen now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. I shall yes, play. You just, you just tell me whether you could see the video. Audio, audio is the. Uh... Sometimes the world feels crazy and lonely to me. Okay. Whether the voice was audible. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma just listen, listen. Maybe even a little fake. But what would happen if I slowed down and started offering kindness to others? Our teachers say the best leaders challenge us to be more, to focus on helping others before ourselves. Even though we're just kids, that doesn't mean we can't have a huge impact on others. We can change things for the better, maybe even more than adults. No matter who we are or what we're doing, any one of us can be good to others. This sounds like a small thing, but I've seen how it creates a big ripple effect. Where one act of kindness helped you and me, then it kept going again and again. Never give up on me. I can't be. Your way, you know me. Gotta get up and start. 
Being kind encouraged someone else to do the same. Because they felt noticed, because they felt loved, more and more people joined in. That's the kind of world I want to grow up in. Don't you want to be a part of that? A place where everyone looks out for one another? Where what we say and do can't help but inspire more kindness? That's the world I want to live in. And that's the world we can create, together. So let's look around, wherever we are, and be willing to go first. Because not only does kindness matter, it spreads. To join the movement, visit inspirekindness.com. दिव्या मेरे पास है प्रेस्टीज का नया स्वच्छ प्रेशर कुकर Let me play from the beginning. Or I can take a photo. Thank you. 
so World Kindness Day, I wanted you to see some quotes on World Kindness Day and also Mother Teresa, right? Uh, you should be, uh, you know, remembering on this day about Mother Teresa and her contribution as well. Okay, so I thought uh, I can start the class with that. Now we shall go for EBS, okay? EBS, because your third internal, or second internal, you have to, I, I have asked uh, questions from unit three, okay? Maximum all the questions are from unit three. I hope you see the screen now. Do you all see yes, the screen? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, last class we were discussing about uh, the unit three, biodiversity and its con um, uh, conservations, okay, conservation. And we have discussed about uh, biogeographical classifications of India, the value of biodiversity, as well as uh, the 10 zones, right? And the wildlife, the protective use of value, or we have discussed social value, ethical value. And today we are going to discuss aesthetic value, okay, aesthetic value. Could one of you please uh, come forward and read? Is the technology? Introduce yourself. Ma'am, Ma I'm Mahalakshmi. Yeah. Okay, Mahalakshmi, carry on. Yes, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Thank you for coming to this aesthetic value the value of plants and animals in beautifying the surrounding and the attraction of plants animals or natural location for people are all are said to be their aesthetic value example ornamental plants are grown in home gardens beautiful birds and rabbits are reared in cabinets ornamental fishes are kept in glass containers for pleasure and beauty people want to spend their holidays by visiting zoo parks waterfalls beach or hill stations very good so aesthetic right aesthetic value what do you uh, have you ever come across this word uh, aesthetic anyone could you just tell me uh, the meaning of aesthetic. Concern, it is aesthetic, it is concerned with beauty or art. Aesthetic is concerned with beauty or art, right? It is concerned with beauty or art. So it is used to talk about uh, people's appreciations of beautiful things, right? Uh, something ornamental, artistic, pleasing, something pretty, okay? Something pretty. So uh, this word, being the literature student, uh, you should know aesthetic. You have the aesthetic sense, they say. So uh, I hope now you understood what is aesthetic. So something beauty, uh, something artful, right? So the use of plants and animals in beautifying the surroundings. We can also use the plants and animals in beautifying the surroundings and the attractions of plants, animals, or natural locations. People are said to be either aesthetic Value. Example, ornamented plants are grown in home gardens. So, you know, you all know that for beauty, we grow ornamental plants. Beautiful birds are like uh, love birds and many birds and rabbits are reared in cabinets. Ornamental fishes, even uh, fish tanks, right? We also use animals for beauty, for happiness, for aesthetic sense. Ornamental fishes are kept in glass containers for pleasure and beauty, right? Uh, people want to spend their holidays by visiting zoo, parks, waterfalls, the or hill stations, right? So nature, I know the role of nature and animals, plants and animals, not only plants and animals, uh, nature is plants, right? Um, everything which gives aesthetic value, right? Something beautiful, something ornamental, which, uh, uh, which, which uh, gives beauty, right? So, what is aesthetic value? I hope you understood. Continue, uh, Maha, optional values. Optional values. Some plants and animals are reared for fulfill the wishes of people. Example, some people rear bamboo trees in houses because they will give an uplift in life. Some people rear dogs for safety. Trees are planted for shadows and to prevent the land from soil erosion. 
Many plants are grown for medicine and cosmetics. Coffee, tea, cotton, and hemp are cultivated for money. Okay, right. So these are the optional values. Um, some plants and animals are reared for fulfill the wish of people. I know for their wish, people they use plants and animals for optional values. Some people rear bamboo trees in houses because they will give an uplift, uplift in life. So they think that uh, you know rearing, okay, rearing means uh, you know growing the bamboo trees in house. It will give some upliftment in life. Not only bamboo, many you know if we Hindus and some people they uh, money plant. They say money plant will give money and uh, aloe vera, then tul uh, tulsi, right? Um, all those things. Some people rear dogs for safety. Trees are planted for shadows and to prevent the land from soil erosion. Many plants are grown for medicine and cosmetics, coffee, tea, cotton, and hemp are cultivated for money. Okay, so these are all optional values. Next, biodiversity at global level. Okay, read it. Uh, Hello? Maha? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, continue. Uh, yes, ma'am. Biodiversity at global level. Our Earth is the natural habitat for about 20 million species of living beings, including plants, animals, and microorganisms. Among plants, angiosperms constitute the largest number of species in the world. In the animal kingdom, species diversity of plant taxa living in the world is listed below. Taxa species, bacteria 4,000, virus 4,000, algae 40,000, fungi 72,000, lichens 17,000, bryophytes 16,000, pteridophytes 13,000, gynosperms 750, angiosperms 2,50,000. Okay, okay. Do you all see the screen? Uh, very good. Mm. I hope you all see the screen, right? So biodiversity at global level, our earth is a natural habitat for about 20 million species of living beings, including plants, animals, and microorganisms. Among plants, spongiosperm constitute the largest number of species in the world, right? Uh, what do you mean by uh, angiosperm? Anyone? You have uh, in twenty standard just now. You would have learned about. Ma'am, the flowering plants, bacteria. Okay, is that Jasprit who answered? Yes, ma'am. Yes, very good. I hope you all see the screen. Okay, just a minute. Just, 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 just. I think the screen has been changed. Right. Okay. So they are the flowering plants. Where we are? Yeah. So they are the largest number of species in the world. In the animal kingdom, arthropods are dominant. What do you mean by arthropods? Hello? Arthropods? I mean, Most of the insects come under arthropods. Most of the? Insects all will come under arthropods, ma'am. Okay, okay, right. So, arthropods, yeah, I have uh, maybe can we say uh, arthropods example? Arthropods Ma example? Uh, cockroaches. Okay. All insects, insects will come. All insects, insects, insects. That's what you said, insects. Right. So, arthropods are uh, dominant in animal kingdom. Species diversity of plant taxa living in world is listed below. 
okay this is the uh, species diversity of plant taxa bacteria virus algae right and just boom gymnosperm and the uh, uh, species count right you can see angiosperms for 2 lakhs 50000 uh, and uh, next to that 17000 lichens next to 16000 uh, no after that algae no fungi algae right fungi algae uh, but the dominant species is angiosperms next species diversity of animal taxa in the world okay world wise animal taxa diversity that is uh, protista mollusca i know what is mollusca snails or molluscas right uh, what is the uh, protista anyone and the archaic bacteria will come under protista okay arthropoda we know that other invertebrates invertebrates you know vertebrates and invertebrates uh, vertebrates are uh, with bone without bone you uh, know animals without bone or invertebrates uh, proto chordata what do you mean by proto chordata and pa. hello what do you mean by proto chordata you can also google and find it out but uh, you know as a students you should have come across all these uh, i think science students science students those who did science do you know or you aware of these things proto chordata and they are like they are the oldest forms and they will not have uh, many structures like for example they will not have the vertebral column they will not have skull they will not have brain that type oh okay so uh, example Pro proto chordates example, no idea. Uh, Amphibiopsis, uh, uh, you know, herd herd mania or self for dolly limb. Okay, central nervous system is dorsal, hollow, and single for them uh, because they they have uh, these characters, right? what is the difference between a core data and pro core data okay we are going very scientifical analysis but we should know all these things right <coughs> i was reminded of my school days next one um how to pronounce this word anyone p i s i s yes mama yeah pisces the 12th pisces okay What do you, what do you mean by Pisces? Here it is fishes. Another meaning, uh, you know, we say minimum uh, uh, zodiac signs. One of the zodiac signs, right? What is a uh, Pisces? Fishes, right? Pisces or uh, fishes, right? The, uh, then then uh, amphibian, you know, the reptilian, apes. What do you mean by apes? Birds, right? Bird family. Uh, bird family. a malian you know that so these are the counts of uh, the taxa species <coughs> next to biodiversity at national level india is a tropical country what do you mean by tropical country any tropical from high heat and uh, humidity will be more in tropical countries yeah uh, humid okay Uh, humid okay very hot and humid okay india is very hot as well as humid uh, uh, okay so oh, those uh, regions are known as tropical so we can say india is a tropical country the richness of biodiversity india is mainly due to wide variety of uh, climatic conditions of this country the climate varies from humid tropical area that is western ghats to icy mountains that is trans himalaya in between them um, hot deserts and plains are there in i uh, the year is not visible those who have the text mahalakshmi could you please tell me what is the year i think you all have the text with you in 1990 in <laughs> 1990 mc nearly noticed mm. noticed that about 70 percentage of the total flowering plants occur in 12 countries these countries are known as mega diversity countries okay so which these countries are known as mega diversity countries 12 countries okay total flowering plants occur in 
uh, 12 countries. So these plants, uh, these countries are known as mega diversity countries. India is one of the 12 mega diversity countries of the world. Okay, so India, we should be very proud that we are also one of the 12 mega biota, mega diversity countries. India has 11 percent of world uh, total bio data. 45,500 species of plants and 86,874 species of animals. India ranks 10th in the world and 4th in Asia. So, uh, in the biodiversity world, India ranks 10th and 4th in Asia. Asian level, in world level, we are 10th in Asian countries level, we are 4th in plant diversity. Fungal species of India contribute 18.2 or 23 percentage of the world fungal flora. Angiospermic species of India contribute 13.50 percentage of the world's angiosperms. India has more than 7 percentage of total animal species in the world. Right. So biodiversity of Tamil Nadu. Now we are going to see uh, the biodiversity of Tamil Nadu. India. Now we learned. See national level now. Uh, state level that is in Tamil Nadu uh, biodiversity. Tamil Nadu, the southmost uh, state of India, it possesses uh, tropical climate, it possesses wetlands, grassland, coastland areas, etc. It has several hill stations such as uh, Hyderabad Hills, Nilgiri Hills, Palani Hills, Anamalai, Alagar, etc. So, what are the hills? Magendragiri, Nilgiri, Palani, Anamalai, Alagar. Uh, right, there are about 123 species of. Pteridophytes, 12 species of gymnosperms, and about 2,300 300 species of angiosperms. What do you mean by pteridophytes? In 12th standard, you would have studied in botany. Botany students, pteridophytes, meaning flowerless green plants, okay? Flowerless green plants or pteridophyte. Am I right? Pteridophyte. And uh, gymnosperms, uh, as uh, she said, uh, angiosperms are flowering, so gymnosperms are non flowering. Tamil Nadu has about 4473 species of invertebrates. Invertebrate means animals without bones. 32 species of protocordates and 108 species of fishes, that is, physes, 88 species of amphibians, 89 species of reptiles, 43 species of mammals, and 349 species of birds. So, students, uh, these are all facts, right? So, uh, this is the biodiversity of Tamil Nadu. Hotspots of biodiversity, right? Uh, can you please read it, uh, Maha? Can you please read hotspots of biodiversity? <laughs> The biodiversity of Tamil Nadu or hot spot of biodiversity? Ma'am? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, ma'am. Hot spot of biodiversity, the area which is rich in plants and animal species is called biodiversity hotspot. There are 25 hotspots in the world. One notable area is southern Africa, including South Africa, Lesotho, Swaziland, Namiba and Botswana. They have 80 per 80 percentage of endemic species to the region. Other hotspots are in 12th Meha biodiversity countries. They together contain 60 percentage to 70 percentage of the world biodiversity. Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, Peru, Edu Ecuador, Seri, Madagascar, Indo Indonesia, Malaysia, India, China and Australia are the 12 mega biodiversity countries. These are the areas of high biodiversity. But these places are threatened by human activities because these places are occupied by more than 1 billion people. Most of them are poor. Okay. <clears throat> Most of them are poor. Right. So hotspot. What do you mean by hotspots? We always go for mobile hotspots to get Wi-Fi and to connect, uh, you know, usually in uh, everyday morning uh, in order to connect my uh, network in my laptop. I go and switch on the uh, portable hotspot in my mobile. So what is this hotspots of biodiversity? Anyone? What is the uh, hotspot uh, meaning here? Why? What? <coughs> hotspots means <coughs> Anyone? Android hotspot, I'm not talking about that. Biodiversity hotspot. Actually, this was the term coined by Norman Mayers. Okay, 
be recognized in tropical forest as, as hot spots. Hot spots uh, <coughs> an area of you know where uh, which is threatened, right? We can say there are 25 hot spots in the world. One notable uh, area is southern Africa, including South Africa, Lesotho, Switzerland, maybe Switzerland, uh, Namibia, and uh, Namibia and Botswana. They I think this is the name of the place, Swaziland, right? 80% <clears throat> of endemic species to the region. Other hotspots are 12 mega biodiversity countries, 60 to 70% of world's biodiversity, Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, Peru, Ecuador, and I think Zambia, Madagascar, Indonesia, Malaysia, India, China, Australia are the 12 mega biodiversity countries. Important, okay, important places. These are the areas of high biodiversity. So here hotspot, the meaning here is very important. Um, but these places are threatened by human activity because these places are occupied by more than one, uh, you know, what is that? Or what is that, uh, Maha? More than one? <clears throat> more than one billion people, most of them are poor. Okay, so that is... Uh, the hotspots of uh, biodiversity. Hotspots in India. Uh, okay, read it. Hotspots in India. Hotspots in India. Among the 25 hotspots of the world, two are found in India. But the two hotspots extending to the neighboring countries. They are Western Ghats and Eastern Himalayas. The Western Ghats from a hotspot, which including Sri Lanka. Eastern Himalayas from another hotspot, which including Indo-Burma region. These areas are particularly rich in floral wealth and endemism. The endemism of Indian biodiversity is high. About 33% of the country recorded flora are endemic to the country. About 62% of the known amphibian species are endemic to India. Its majority occur in the Western Ghats. Okay. So the majority occur in the Western Ghats. Right. Yes, sir. Ma'am, sorry, ma'am. Uh, next time I I snap the pic clearly. Okay, okay. Uh, right. So hotspots in India among the twenty five hotspots of the world, two are found in. So totally in overall in world there are twenty five hotspots. But these uh, two there are two hotspots in India. Two hotspots extending to the neighbor countries as well. They are Western Ghats and Eastern, Eastern Himalayas. These are the hotspots in India. What are the hotspots in India? Western Ghats and Eastern Himalayas. Western Ghats form a hotspot which includes Sri Lanka. Eastern Himalayas form another hotspot which include Indo Burman region. Indo -Burma region. These areas are particularly rich in floral wealth and endemism. Endemism of Indian biodiversity is high, about 330, I think 30, what, what is that? <clears throat> about 33, the countries record flora are endemic to the country. Flora are endemic to the country. How many? 33 percentage of the country recorded flora are endemic to the country. Okay, about 62 percentage of known amphibian species are endemic to India. Its majority occur in the Western Ghats. So here, hotspots, you understood that <coughs> the important place. Western Ghats, next one is Western Ghats. It comprises a range of coastal hills and adjoining coastal lowlands. It includes Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and Goa. There are seven national parks. There are 39 wild uh, this is the continuity. Okay. There are 39 wildlife sanctuary, sanctuaries. Amphibians and lizards are endemic to the region. Okay. So, how many national parks? Seven national parks. There are 39 wildlife sanctuaries. And amphibians and lizards are endemic to the region. What do you mean by endemic? Anyone here? <coughs> I think the time is up. Endemic meaning? Endemic something rare. Okay. It's found in very particular place. Only in one particular place. Example, 
malaria is endemic in many hot countries right so endemic means um, found in particular place right so threats of biodiversity the reasons okay eastern himalayas i will continue uh, uh, finish with this uh, eastern himalayas it covers the state's name sikkim meghalaya and natural pradesh in assam about 13500 plant species have been recorded among them 7000 species are endemic to this region okay so these are the hot spots in india right so threats to bio biodiversity is also very important Uh, I shall take it in the uh, take it on Monday. Your uh, internal second internal starts right. Do you know that your internal commences on fifteenth of November? Am I right? Okay, so that's all for today's class. We shall meet in the next class. Thank.